It's raining. And it's pouring. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another night of uh, DOTW. Drink of the week. So, we want to thank everybody for uh, watching our videos. Uh, tonight's episode is going to be uh, a compilation of 2022. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. The beginning to the end. The end of this year to the beginning of 2023. We want to say Happy New Year's. Happy New Year. Yeah, we'll see you in 2023. <laughs> Please, while you're out celebrating uh, New Year's, make sure you have a designated driver. Enjoy your cocktails, and we look forward to seeing you all year long. Ooh, we're going to make a cherry lightning lemon drop today with lightning vodka. First thing you're going to do is you're going to start out with a lemon. You want half ounce of lemon. So we'll chop this right there in half like that. Grab your squeezy, drop it in there, straight into your mixer glass. One half ounce lemon. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go in with an ounce of cherry juice. Drop that into your mixer as well. Lightning vodka, one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go ahead and drop in a little bit of ice. Pop that right onto your shaker. Pull that apart. Grab the glass you're gonna be drinking from. We'll go ahead and strain. After that, keep your surface nice and clean. We're gonna add a little more ice to the drink itself. Doesn't have to be anything special, just something to keep it nice and cool. Top your glass off with a little bit of your favorite lemon lime soda. Get a little fizzes. Come in with your lemon. Get rid of your seeds. Drop in your garnish. And there you have it, a cherry lightning lemon drop. Drink of the week. Today's drink of the week is gonna be the Cosmopolitan. First thing you're gonna start out with is gonna be two ounces of vodka. Two and 10. It might be a little heavy pour, but that'll be good for me. And then the next thing you're gonna go into is half an ounce of triple sec. After your triple sec, you're gonna do three quarters ounce of cranberry juice, about half an ounce of lime, and you go ahead and drop this in here and give it a shaky shake. So it's nice and cold. Then you're gonna take yourself a nice cold glass, add a little bit of ice to it. Pour in your Cosmopolitan. Add your garnishes. I'm gonna do a round of orange, lime, w and drink a straw. of the week. Today's uh, drink is gonna be the whiskey sour. Whiskey sour is gonna start out with one part lemon juice. I already squeezed our lemon. And so one part lemon juice, about 15 milliliters. And then we're gonna go ahead and add in about two parts whiskey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's about it. Maybe a little extra for me later. And then from that, we're gonna go ahead and add in one part simple syrup. Simple syrup's gonna be another 15 milliliters. That should be enough right there. Then we're gonna add in one part egg white. And we're gonna dry shake for a good 60 seconds. We wanna get everything emulsified inside the shaker. Keep going, keep going, keep going. la di da di da -di. let's keep going. Get it shooken up nice and good so everything's emulsified into one another. Keep going, and when you think your arm's gonna fall off, you got a little more to go. Keep going, keep going. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your booty, shake your booty. All right, that should be enough right there. 
After your dry shake is over, we're gonna go ahead and add in some ice and we're gonna do a wet shake with ice. That'll get the drink nice and chilly. So it doesn't melt the ice cube that's in your, your glass when you go to do your pour. And that should be enough ice right there. Go ahead and put our shaker glass back together and get back at it. Go ahead and shake. Whiskey Tower takes a little bit of work, but it's well worth the, the time and effort to get it done, get it drank. And in this glass one, you can feel it's getting a little colder, so it feels like it's just about right. You'll bring in your glass with your ice cube in there or multiple ice cubes depending on how you decide to do it you'll pour in your sour nice smooth velvety and silky just like that add in your garnish there's your beautiful whiskey sour today we're gonna do the super drop lemon up so this is what you do to get started you're gonna need some lemons and a lime some seven up obviously your shaker a glass we're gonna use a highball glass today we're gonna to go ahead and cut up our lemons these are fresh off the tree these are mini lemons grab your shaker and your squeezy and you're gonna go in and squeeze all of your lemons Lemon after lemon after lemon after lemon. You can do this all in advance. Or you could just use lemonade. Yeah, that takes all the fun out of it. Lemons, we get into lime. We're gonna do the exact same thing with the lime. Bam, just like that. Just with five lemons and one lime. Usually I personally like key limes, but you know, do what you got. Our lightning vodka. Put our top on. And give it a shaky shake. Now it's cold. And then you're gonna go ahead and strain it into your glass. And we'll fill this puppy right up to about three quarters. And then we're gonna go ahead and top up with our seven up for a little fizz, straw, and your lemon. A perfect drink for all of your friends to enjoy. Drink of the week. This Thank week's you. drink is going to be the Moscow Mule and we're gonna be using lightning vodka. So first thing you're going to do when you start out with the Moscow Mule is you're going to get your shaker and you're going to fill your shaker up with some ice. Generally you're going to want to have ice that's going to fit down inside of here. That should be plenty of ice right there. Alright, then the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your vodka and you're going to add about two ounces. One, two, three, four, five. There's our two ounces of vodka. Second thing after that is you're going to grab yourself a lime. Go ahead and half that lime. Grab yourself a nice uh, squeezer. And we're going to squeeze half the lime straight into your, into your shaker. After you've got that, you're going to go ahead and top off with your ginger beer. Put this back down, give her a shake. I'm just shaking enough to make it nice and chilly. Put a little bit of ice into your mule glass. Fill her up nice. A 
from there you're going to go ahead and add in your garnishes today I'm just going to go ahead and do a lime wheel and if you wanted to get real fancy get real fancy heat up a the skin of a lime and express some oil and there you have it a Moscow mule EW this week's drink of the week is going to be the pina colada fantastic summer drink all you're going to need is a little bit of white rum some pineapple some pineapple juice some uh cream of coconut and a cherry super simple easy to do we're going to start out our day with a nice glass full of shaved ice and from there we're going to go ahead and add in our rum first two ounces after your two ounces of uh, rum you're going to go in and do coconut cream after your coconut cream and that's uh what is that that's uh two ounces of coconut cream then we're gonna go four ounces of pineapple juice it's about two thirds three three quarters of a, a can of pineapple juice from that, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit more ice just to top off our glass, make it look nice and pretty. Add in all of our garnishes. I'm gonna do a straw, a cherry, and a pineapple wedge. And there you have it. Your super, super simple pina colada. That's fancy enough to make everybody happy. Hey, what's up y'all? It's Waldo and I'm back with this week's installment of DOTW. This week on Drink of the Week, we are going to highlight the Caramel Apple Mule. Caramel Apple Mule is a vodka based spirit. First thing you're gonna start out with is you're gonna need your shaker. You're gonna take your shaker and go ahead and fill that puppy up with ice. All right, after that, you're gonna go ahead and switch over to your vodka. And our vodka is going to be one and a half ounces. Drop that into your shaker. After that, you're going to do one ounce of apple cider. And half an ounce of caramel. Shaker, put the cap on. And give it a shake, 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 shake. Make sure it gets nice and chilly. While you're doing that, you can go ahead and get your copper mug ready, because this is a mule, so ideally you want to use a copper mug. All right, that's starting to feel nice and chilly now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this top and strain it right into my mug. Once you've got that, go ahead and add some ice your glass and you're gonna top this off with whatever your favorite ginger beer is add in your garnishes I'm gonna do an apple and a straw and that is your caramel apple mule of the week tonight uh, we're gonna be doing the mojito mojito is the uh, the drink of Cuba uh, first, we're going to start out with uh, about 10 or 11 mint leaves. Throw those right down there into the glass. On top of those, you're going to drop in one sugar cube. One sugar cube it is. Then we'll throw in some key limes. I like to use key limes instead of regular limes. Regular limes, you're going to use one quartered lime. With the key limes, you'll do two quartered limes. You're going to muddle everything in. You don't want to completely disintegrate your sugar. You, you still want to have a little bit of granules in the, in the bottom. And we're just trying to express the oil out of the mint itself. So once you've got that all cubed up and muddled nice and gently like that, where you've got enough juice coming out, you're going to go ahead and add in the juice of another three key limes. And that's if you're using key limes. If you're using a, a regular lime, you probably won't need to add any juice. From there, we're going to go ahead and add in about half an ounce of simple syrup. And then after the simple syrup, we're going to go ahead and add some crushed ice. 
We're using shaved ice today because I like the texture a little better. Add in your rum. One, two, three, four, five. We'll go ahead and stir this up and get everything kind of brought up through the top of this so everything's nice and mixed. Once you're happy with your mixture, we can go ahead and add in the rest of your crushed ice to bring right up to the top. I like to give it a little mound right over the top like that. Always try and work with a nice clean surface. We're all stirred up. We'll go ahead and drop in our garnishes. I'm going to add an umbrella, a nice fancy lime, one dried lime on the edge, and just a little bit more mint. Grab your mint, put it in the palm of your hand, give it a quick smack. It smells beautiful. Drop that in, and there you have it, a beautiful mojito. And the drink of this week is the French 75. Previously known as the Sefuan Caz. What he said. The French 75 got its popularity in the 1940s after appearing in the film Casablanca. And a couple other movies there in the 1940s as well. It was That's where it picked up all of its popularity and really started to move. Do you know what the other ones? Uh, I read it. I don't remember. No. It was published... <laughs> In mixology books in the 1920s to 1930s. Five. It was uh, originally created by uh, a barman named Harry Mack L1 at the uh, New York bar in uh, Paris, France. Yep. Uh, traditionally, it's uh, served in a uh, champagne flute with uh, lemon, sugar, gin, ice, and topped off with a bit of your favorite champagne. And do the damn thing. Do you think they made these in 1915? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, that just, one was made this afternoon. Whittled, whittled the piece of wood until it was perfect. You're making fun of me? No. <laughs> I, I think it's a great touch. <laughs> so what do you say about making the string? Yeah, I mean, let's, uh, let's get to it and make it rock. Uh, this is how you make the uh, French 75. Yeah. Chavon Caz. Yeah. Look right here. Don't forget your champagne flute. I think you forgot that in the, in the descriptors. All right, so to make our French 75, I, I started out with my mise en place. I have all of my ingredients ready and ready to go. So first thing you're gonna start out with is you've got your shaker full of ice. And with that shaker full of ice, we're gonna start out with our gin. We're gonna add 1.25 ounces, one and a quarter ounces of gin. And then from there, we're gonna add three quarters ounce of lemon juice. And then after that, we go to our sipping syrup. And if you wanna learn how to make some simple syrup on your own, uh, tell us in the comments below and we will uh, make a video on how to make simple syrup. And that's gonna be three quarters of an ounce also. Then you're gonna go ahead and put the top on your shaker and you're gonna shake vigorously for about 20 seconds. So it's nice and cold. You want to feel the cold kind of going all the way through the bottle. And when you're all done with that shake, you'll go ahead and open this up. Grab your champagne flute, pour it in. A little easier if you uh, have your strainer on the top. Go ahead and pour that in. And then after that, you're gonna add in your champagne to top it off. Any champagne's fine, whatever your favorite champagne is. Add your garnish, and there you have it. That is your French 75. Really good. <laughs> Today's Halloween special, we're going to be milking the blood of a ghoul. Today's drink of the week is going to be 
the DOTW version of Ghoul's Blood. In this drink, we're going to start out with one ounce of rum into my shaker. And then we're going to go with the blue Caraco. One ounce again. <laughs> Triple sec, another ounce. We're getting heavy tonight. One ounce into the shaker. Then we're going to go to some pineapple juice. And we're going to double that up for two ounces. Oh, lordy. Spilling blood everywhere. On goes the cap of our shaker with some ice in it. And we're going to shake it until it's cold and foamy. Yeah. Open it up into your rimmed glass, pour it in, and enjoy. And this is how you make your vodka and orange, or as we call it here in the States, a screwdriver. First thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and jump in with your vodka. We're gonna drop in 50 milliliters of vodka right into our glass filled with crushed ice. And we actually started out with our garnish because we're gonna pull the garnish up through the glass after we get everything mixed in. Once you're there, you're gonna go ahead and open up your orange juice, pop it off. Making a mess everywhere. Once you're all topped off, like I said, you're gonna come in and bring your orange peel right up through the top of the orange. And then you'll hit that top of the glass with some more orange just to give it some flavor. And there you have it, your all-American wonderful screwdriver. We're gonna be making the sweet martini. We're going to be using lightning vodka, about 50 mils. We're gonna be using half an ounce of sweet vermouth. And this is what you're gonna need. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna start with our little itty bitty teeny tiny shaker. Isn't that thing so cute? Into that shaker, we're gonna go ahead and drop in our 50 milliliters of lightning vodka. Next thing we do is we're gonna jump right into our sweet vermouth and we'll do our half ounce. Then go ahead and close her up. Give her a shaky, shaky, shaky shake. Take your frosty martini glass. Go ahead and pour that in. Right down to the last drop. As you can see, this one has color, unlike your dry martinis. And today we're gonna garnish with an olive and an orange peel. And there you have it, your sweet martini. And this is how you make a vodka and cranberry, our way. First thing you're gonna start out with is your shaker. Make sure you've got plenty of ice to chill everything as you go along. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze in one quarter wedge of a tiny lemon. After the lemon, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into our vodka. We're gonna add 50 milliliters of lightning vodka. And from there, we're gonna jump into an orange. We're gonna squeeze some fresh orange juice right into our shaker. Get in there and just squeeze the living devil out of it. And then, after you've got that all taken care of, we're gonna go ahead and jump into our cranberry. We'll drop in about two ounces. And then, with that being said, we'll go ahead and slap on our top to our shaker in shaky shake. Make sure it's nice and chilly. Do your little toucan dance. Bring out your highball glass full of ice. We're gonna get a strainer to make sure we get all the particulate from the fruit out. Go ahead and pour that right into your strainer, right up to the brim. Slap that right on top, a straw, and there you have 
your vodka cranberry. This week's drink what? of the week is going to be the Hocus Pocus number two. Hey everybody, Waldo here with uh, DOTW. Uh, I want to be very clear about this next drink that we're doing. It is extremely dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. If you're not a professional, make sure that you have a professional do it. Uh, I, for one, am not a professional, but I do know that dry ice will burn you and it will cause severe damage if you consume it. So make sure you don't consume dry ice. Now, that being said, the science behind dry ice is dry ice sinks. When it sinks into the water, it goes from solid form to gas form instantly. It's actually not safe to consume. So I can't stress that enough. Now, with that being said, let's get into this drink. This week's drink is gonna be a rum-based drink. It has a mango peach juice. It's gonna have a and peach sparkling water as well. It also contains mixed berry sherbet. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this mixed up and you'll be ready for Halloween. This is our first October installment. So we're gonna have a couple other Halloween-based cocktails all set up and ready for you this, this whole month. Uh, first thing we're gonna start out with, we're gonna start out with my favorite shaker. In goes two ounces of the mango peach juice, two ounces of rum, and then you're going to go ahead and add in your sherbet. Ah, no, nah, just kidding. You put that into your shaker. We're going to go ahead and get this emulsified. So shake, 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 get it all mixed up and all ready for you while I do that I'll get my glass out and then you're gonna start feeling this glass getting colder we'll throw just a little bit of ice into the drink once that's mixed up we'll pour our cocktail straight in And then for a little bit of fun, we're gonna throw a little bit of dry ice in here. Don't drink it with the dry ice in there. Wait till that's all gone. And then we'll top this up with our sparkling water. Nice little fun drink. That'll make all your friends uh, happy to see you again. TW, this week's drink of the week is gonna be the Bloody Mary. We're gonna have our version of the Bloody Mary. So the DOT version of the Bloody Mary starts out with our own Rimmer Salt. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna grab your glass that you're gonna use. Usually you're gonna use a highball glass. Go ahead and hit that top end with a lemon. Drop that into your rimming salt and get a good rim on there. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna jump in. You're gonna drop in about uh, eight to 10 ounces of your tomato juice. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce. All right. Slap in a tiny bit of black pepper. I'm using about a quarter teaspoon. A splash of hot sauce. We're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of horseradish sauce in there. Mix that all up. And of course, it wouldn't be a Bloody Mary without our vodka. We're going to do about 45 milliliters of vodka. Get that mixed in nice and thorough. And then we'll top it with our garnishes. And there you have a perfect Bloody Mary for all of your friends to enjoy. And Santa, tell me just what is in a naughty hot chocolate? Well, Mrs. Claus, you need a little vodka and you're gonna need some chocolate liqueur some hot cocoa powder and a whole lot of fun.
So let's get into the video. Let's get started and make our naughty hot chocolate. All right, Miss Claus, why don't you go ahead and hand me that shaker? And the first thing we're gonna go in with is our milk. You're gonna use about eight ounces of milk. You can use skim milk, whole milk, I like whole milk, into your shaker. From there, we're gonna go ahead and drop in our hot cocoa powder. You can warm up your milk first. It'll mix a lot easier and a lot quicker if you do that. You won't end up with chunks. And then we're gonna do one ounce of vodka. And two ounces of chocolate liqueur of your choice. Just a little bit of cinnamon. And you'll go ahead and get this slap together. Shakey, shake, shake. You want to give it a shake? Come yeah, on, Miss Claus. Sure. Shake it. All right. There you go. Shake Into your cocoa glass. We go nice and frothy right up to the top. We're going to add a couple of marshmallows and on we're going to give it a little hit with the torch. And there's your naughty hot chocolate. We want to wish everybody a very Merry Christmas. Merry uh, Christmas. Please don't drink and slay. Make sure you get yourself a designated reindeer. And we will see you in the next video. Until then, like, share, subscribe, get a little tipsy, and enjoy life. Mrs. Claus, this is for you. Thank you. I'll see you Christmas Eve, honey. Feels so naughty. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. Uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, hit that thumbs up button and the notification bell. And if you want to see something different, like maybe some fire or maybe how to make that simple syrup we used in the video or another cocktail uh, later on down the road. Go ahead and let us know right down there in that uh, comment section. Yeah.